Alrighty, so I'm back again um, with the next section. We just covered the other half or other third of these um, ICs. Now we're gonna do a block replacer, which what it does is I have not a single clue to this moment. I spent 10 minutes trying to find out what this does. Um, I am completely confounded at what this would do. It hurts my brain. <laughs> so what this does is it... So, as I was saying, I think that the second tutorial, um, this is the same exact thing as the It's Day um, um, thing back here. Let me just get the compass so I can go back here much more quickly. Um, so, that's the light sensor. So, voila. So, we go, It's Day. Um, so, um, here we go, this is automatically triggered by night and day, but, as we're saying, the f that's a self-triggered block. So, this block, it's, you see right now, is, it detects its day, that's because it was already set like that, but as you can see, red, redstone current does not affect it, but if I time night it, um, it's nighttime. This still thinks it's daytime, but once I put the redstone current, it'll activate it, and it will stop the current. And if I time day, it hasn't changed back. I apply the current, it'll change again. Now this is time control. It's just simple. Day is um, on. Um, and redstone power to it is daytime. No power is nighttime. So the moon is right over this hill. Then you can see it's daytime right there. Um, this is an arrow shooter. Uh, very nice for dungeons again. Um, it has two variables. This is arrow shooter and arrow barrage. Um, point I mean, 0.2 is the maximum speed an arrow can go. Point 0.3 is the minimum speed. So as you can see right here, that should see quite far. Um, it's it's kind of random actually in the way it shoots, well, the direction it shoots it. Then an arrow barrage. As you can see, 0.3 is not very much power at all. It shoots five arrows at once. But if it was 0.2, it would shoot it much farther. Further, I mean. Farther? I'm confused. So this is another one of those um, non self triggered blocks. Um. Oopsies. Um. So this is a water sensor again. Um, as you can see, this does not emit power once the water is placed. Um, but once I do trigger it by placing the redstone current, I mean, current into the sign, you can see it does trigger it. Oopsies. Um, but then once I move the water, it does not go off like the other one did. Give a bit of lag. There we go. Um, then it'll turn off once the power is applied. Same thing with the lava, it doesn't detect, once the current goes through, it detects. Um, I'm not going to explain that, I just did I guess, in times. <laughs> a leather light sensor, um, as you can see, it has light on it right now. Mm, excuse me. Um, so once the power is applied, it pushes the power out because there's light on it. Now there's no light on the top facing block, which is I set the radius to. So now I just flip the switch. Then it detects there's no light on it, and it turns it off. Now, this is a block sensor. Um, it's the same exact thing as we showed before with the uh, cobblestone on the first episode. It detects to see if there's a block that's placed right here. Um, but this one's not self-triggered, so you have to apply the power for it to uh, um, detect to see if there's a block there. Now, as you can see, the 57 right there it means it needs a diamond block well this one is actually um, you can move how far up you want as the other one did actually I'm confused um, but um, this is just set two so one the space in between is one and this is two it's not detecting there's a 57 or a gold I mean diamond block right there put the power through it and the diamond block is detected um, when I move the diamond block 
it's still not detected. I mean, it's still detecting it. Once I put the current through it, it realizes it's not there. So this is the same exact thing. I shortened. I didn't want to have to place it on top. This is the same exact thing as a power sensor shown shown in the first episode. Except you have to put power to the sign for it to detect. So there we go. The power is placed on. Um, actually, this is the glitch block. One of them I found. Well, the main one I found so far is it's thinking it's an arrow barrage. Um, as you can see right there, it's shooting the arrow barrage out as we just showed. So, um, yeah, that's the first, and that's the. This is the fourth episode. I hope you enjoyed um, to the false book plugin person. Please note that that is broken right now, and I hope you fix it soon. Not that big of a deal, I guess, but it's just broken for now. Um, and I hope you, I hope this helped you see the brokenness of the broken thing. So, um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, um, I'll get working on the next episode right now. Um, next tutorial, I should say. So thank you again. Uh, please like, rate, subscribe. It helps me out. I'm trying to get a better mic right now. I'm sorry for the background noise. Um, it's just... Um, my microphone is very, very sensitive on my computer. Uh, sorry. Um, excuse me. It's detecting my fan noise my computer because I have an all-in-one. Um, which is a desktop screen and everything. It's like an iMac, but it's an HP TouchSmart. Um, um, so yeah, um, so thank you for watching again. Bye for now. See you soon, I hope.